It's a dark night and you're all alone in the middle of the woods when suddenly you feel breathing on your neck and you turn around and see a bear. But you don't know which kind of bear. Has this situation ever happened to you? Well, it probably hasn't, at least not more than once. Well, anyways, you need to know how to get out of bear attack situations, so I'm going to go over all the necessary info today about bears and all the many subspecies of bears. First of all, we have the brown bear. Everyone knows this classic. There's many different subspecies. They mostly live in North America and Eurasia. They weigh anywhere between 180 to 1300 pounds, and males outweigh females by 30% on average. Yes, this is genuinely a video about bears. I am not joking. I'm going to teach you everything that I have learned about bears. The North American brown bear is commonly referred to as grizzly bear, while the Eurasian brown bear is commonly referred to as the Eurasian brown bear. There's also Kodiak bears, and they live exclusive to Kodiak Island. There was also two more subspecies of brown bear in the United States, the Mexican and Californian brown bear. Unfortunately, they both have become extinct, with the Californian brown bear being immortalized on California's flag forever. Brown bears are also known for their various different colors. In India, brown bears can be reddish. They refer to as the cinnamon bear. In China, they can be dark brown, but with a whitish insignia on the chest, neck, and shoulders. In North America alone, they can vary between dark brown to a whitish cream color. Basically, the color of a brown bear doesn't necessarily tell you if it's a brown bear or not. And you're gonna have to look for other characteristics like mandible, teeth, skull shape, The North American black bear takes up a much larger portion of North America than the brown bear. Despite inhabiting the same places, North American black bears and brown bears are not closely related. Their last common ancestor was over 5 million years ago. And just like its grizzly cousin, black bears are not exclusively one singular color. Black bears are also much smaller than brown bears, and brown bears have a more prominent hump on their shoulders. They might generally look like they have the same silhouette, but seeing the comparison photos side by side, the distinctions are made clear and obvious. Asian black bears. Asian black bears are diurnal, just like humans. However, when living in close proximity to humans, Asian black bears become nocturnal. This is because Asian black bears are naturally afraid of humans, and with good reason. Over 500 of them are illegally hunted every year. But Asian black bears aren't just afraid of humans, they actually attack humans more commonly than the Eurasian brown bear and the American black bear. When Asian black bears attack humans, they usually rear up onto their hind legs and knock the victim over with their front paws. They literally start boxing. Asian black bears are also the most bipedal of all bears, and can walk upright on their hind legs for up to a quarter mile. Sun bears! Sun bears are the smallest of all the bear species, and they are arboreal, which means tree living. They live in the trees. This is helped by the fact that they, on average, weigh between 50 to 150 pounds. There is a decent chance that you, right now, weigh more than the average sun bear. Sun bears are shine reclusive fellas. They don't usually attack humans, but they will if they get standoffish. They're most likely to flee, however. Their diet consists of berries, bees, ants, beetles, honey. They also have abnormally long tongues. They're mostly in Southeast Asia, and there's fewer than a thousand of them, and they are considered a vulnerable species. Since the 1990s, it's estimated that over 35% of their population has fallen off. There are preservation attempts put in place, but it's not unlikely that in your lifetime you may live in a sun bearless world, and that makes me sad. Bears, also known as the Indian bear. They have a silly underbite and they mostly stay around India. Human attacks on sloth bears are so prevalent that sloth bears actually react to humans the same way they would react to natural predators. In absolute numbers, sloth bears are the most likely to attack humans. And in the regions where they live, they are considered more dangerous than local tigers. Polar bears. Hello. Polar bears are the absolute biggest and most vicious bear on the planet. Only some Kodiak brown bears even compare to their size. Adult males weigh between 600 and 1700 pounds. The largest polar bear ever discovered was over 2000 pounds, making them the largest living land carnivores. Polar bears generally have a more slender build with a narrower skull, a longer neck, and a lower shoulder hump. And of course, the most defining feature is their fur color. Almost all polar bears come with a cream white color and they are elusive. 
polar bears have been often hunted not for food or for fun, but because their rarity could be seen as a sign of status. Therefore, plenty of rich people throughout history have taken polar bears captive and kept them as pets. Polar bears are the most carnivorous out of all of the bears and is the apex predator in its habitat. While most bears' diets are omnivorous with a preference towards berries and bugs, polar bears are hyper carnivores with a preference towards ringed seal. They almost never will eat something that isn't meat. Out of all the bears that could potentially be mauling me, a polar bear is last on my list. Because I don't know about you, but I would rather box an Asian black bear than get into an encounter with a 2,000 pound polar bear. Panda bears distinctly have their famous black and white coats. There's a misconception that panda bears cannot eat bamboo because it's bad for their digestive system. Eating bamboo is mostly fine for the panda bear. It doesn't cause any problems necessarily, but their carnivorous digestive system derives very little energy and protein from bamboo. So they just have to eat more bamboo. Only about 1% of their diet is anything that is not bamboo. They've even evolved to eat bamboo more efficiently. They have bigger jaws for bamboo, and they also have thumbs for holding bamboo. They love their bamboo. The panda bear may very well be humanity's best attempt at conservation as they were officially raised from endangered to vulnerable. There's also the speckled bear which is native to South America. They take up this funny shape of South America and Paddington is a speckled bear from Peru. So with all this information among us, this brings us back to the first question. What kind of bear are you dealing with right now? How can you get out of this situation? Well, from what we've learned, if the bear is a brown bear, then you need to run. But if the bear is a black bear, then you need to attack. But remember that black bears can be brown and brown bears can be black. And also brown bears can be red and so can black bears and so can brown bears. And even some panda bears can also be red. Some bears can box, some bears can bite, some bears eat bamboo, and some bears only sleep in the night.